It was a picture perfect hero's welcome back to Earth and a big welcome, of course, to Butch and Sonny and the members of Crew 9 who splashed down. They had dolphins greeting them just feet away from them those minutes after splashdown, the blue skies. And then, of course, the moments we were all waiting for those first steps out of the hatch back on land. Of course, this uh, not boat, but then eventually land. But those first steps on Earth nonetheless were filled with smiles, with waves, and we saw those smiles and waves from two astronauts who have been in space for about nine and a half months longer than they initially expected. A 10 day mission turned much longer. Of course, that saga had everyone, the whole country waiting for this moment. So now they are going to get checked and evaluated. They had a quick medical evaluation on the boat and then shuttled off to NASA's Houston Johnson Space Center, and that is where they'll be evaluated for longer. They're going to have their eyes checked, their blood pressure checked. We know that extended stays in space impact the fluids in the body, the spine. So those are all things they're going to have to get officially cleared by medical professionals before they can resume their daily normal activities. But the moment everyone has been waiting for when they're reunited with their families. That is happening also in Houston. We know that both of them are married. They have their own families. Butch Wilmore has daughters. One daughter is a senior in high school, so we know that they have been sorely missed. And these hugs that await them tonight have been nine and a half months in the making.